will those that stuck around get to hear the plastic mailing? Watch your hands when you put them in the computer. I might hit the fan. Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today we compare two AIOs, CPU coolers. We're going to look at the new Corsair IQ H100i Elite Capital X and the MSI MagCore Liquid 120R. 240R and 360R. Well, this is the new CPU cooler, okay? And it is quite an interesting unit, let me tell you. All right. So, we've got the pump now in the water block in here. Pump's in there now, okay? And we've got two fans here for the 240. And we can also switch to a different. How does that go? There we go. We can switch to a different plate if we'd like. And so we might just do that and have a look and see what it looks like. See if it makes a... Uh, a nicer touch. I'm just uh, changing the faceplate here on the pump head. See what the new one looks like. Just have one screw left. Um, it's just uh, like the smallest hex six-sided um, screw. Uh, and we'll just take this last one off. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and let's try the new one. Oh, oh, and we got a plastic peel here too. You can actually buy uh, an LCD screen that, that goes there, um, which is um, an added cost, which basically doubles your cost of the whole thing, um, and that can give you like different temperatures and have different readings on there and stuff. So that would be a bit of a, a luxury, I would say. Okay, should we turn her on? All right. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the results for the Corsair H100i Elite 240 AIO. Now, we cooled a 12700K that is overclocked with the optimizer to 4.8 gigahertz for the 8P cores and 3.9 gigahertz for the 4E cores. Now, this video was 23 minutes and one second long and it took seven minutes and 23 seconds to render it and the average temperature was 67 degrees C. Ow! Oh. Next, we have a video that was 8 minutes and 41 seconds, and it took 3 minutes 
and 23 seconds to render it with an average temperature of 69 degrees C. Oh, what a beast of a cooler this is. And I think part of it may be this split flow copper cold plate. Oh, an optimal cold plate design and a high density stack of 128 micro skimmed fins per inch provides a highly efficient cooling at all loads. Next, we're going to take a look at one result uh, of the 240R, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Now, this 12700K was underclocked by 500 megahertz, okay? So it was all peak core of 4.2 gigahertz, and the E cores were at 3.8, and the average temperature was 78. Oh, because every 120R, every 240R, every 360R, the MSI core liquid mag AIOs are a disaster. As far as I know, they all eventually fail. Okay, so if you have one, oh, I'm sorry. I had one and it failed within a few months and I returned it, exchanged it for, to go towards the Corsair and I was happy to pay a little, little bit more money to get a decent cooler that it has premium coolant. Oh, and why am I going on and on about this? Have a look at this, okay? What we have here are the Amazon reviews, okay? So in the first column is the name of the AIO. Second column is the total number of reviews on Amazon, okay? There's thousands of them. And the next column is the percent of one star reviews, which is the worst. One star is the worst grading you can give, okay? Now, if you wanna compare that to the bottom two blue ones, okay, two Corsair, we've got a black one that I have, and you can also get it in white. In fact, over 10,000 of those have been reviewed on Amazon. You're talking 3% and 4% one star reviews. And if you go up and look, you're talking sometimes four times more bad reviews. If you add the one star and two star, you get this red number, okay? 17% for the 240R, 16% for the 360R. This is horrible. Look at the Corsairs, 4% and 5%. Oh my gosh, this is real. And you just go to Amazon, you read those reviews and, and read what they're saying about it. This is a disaster. If you have one, you wanna try and trade it in. You don't wanna rip people off, you wanna, you want to take this piece of rubbish back and get a better AIO. Here we have the Corsair IQ software. Um, I've got an Asus motherboard, but there's no lights on it. This is a Republic of Gamers ROG motherboard. That's not mine. Um, and then uh, here is the AIO. So we've got the Elite Capital X lighting effects, cooling alerts, device settings. I've got an RGB keyboard and a mouse, Corsair mouse. So um, here over he uh, on the left are some of the RGB um, patterns that you can use. Um, I made this one here. Um, so basically as the coolant heats up, it should get more and more red when it's cold, it should be blue. Um, okay, let's see what else. Did uh, a rain one with green and yellow. I have decreased 
the intensity of the light on the AIO. Um, and I can show you where that is. Okay, here's a visor um, pattern, uh, yellow and orange that I created. And this is a slow shift in color, so it changes color slowly. So if I click on uh, the lighting effects, hardware lighting. So there's some presets down here. There's additional ones like uh, color warp and marquee. Um, so these are the default um, patterns that will appear when you boot up your computer. You choose your default pattern. Um, so I just got the color warp um, and you can change the speed over here of the transition so here we the colors change quickly and then you can put it on really slow if you wish and have it change more slowly So for the, um, on device settings, if you click device settings, um, this is where you can change the intensity of the light. You can make it more bright or more dark. Um, the pump um, has variable speed is what I have selected. So the pump just changes speed as it sees fit. You can have a quiet, balance, extreme. Um, I had it on extreme and I could hear a bit of a whine. Um, so I think that went up to about 2800 RPMs um, on extreme. So I'll just leave it on variable. Um, and then the, the two fans, you can they're on quiet at the moment. Um, and you can have balanced, extreme, or even turn them off. Um, so it'll go to zero RPMs. Um, and then the, once things reach a certain temperature, the fans will come on. Um, it takes a few seconds to wind. They, they wind down slowly and wind up slowly. So there they're off. Um, and you can just leave it like that and let it let them take off when you when they want to. So I'm just going to um, so you can have different ones for each fan if you want. Um, for instance, the one on the right you could have that at, at extreme. So now I can hear the fan. Okay, so if we go to home. So um, if you wanted to create your own pattern, you would press this plus symbol, add a scene, um, and then select custom, and then select sort of a base to start with. Um, go back to presets. So there's different ones here. There's a spiral rainbow, um, rainbow, so if you go to custom, um, this one you can't um, play around with the colors, but there are some of these you can. So for instance, um, 
grain. You can change the colors. At the moment it's doing red and blue. So you can change the red down to quite dark and the blue to quite dark and just see what happens. Okay, so nothing. And you can change the speed, put it up. We'll bring it down. And then give it a name and then create it. Easy as that. Okay, as I have been doing this, I will put in the description below the apply for a swap for the MSI AIOs. Um, if you have a 120R, I believe those are only in the pre-built system. So when you go and check your serial number um, for your MSI pre-built computer and your 120R, you put in the serial number of the whole computer. Okay, there's two different websites. There's one for the USA and there's an international one. Okay, so, um, Basically, if you can't get resolution from your retailer, um, or if it's out of warranty, you can go in and um, apply for a swap, try to do that. If your serial number does not work, you can create a ticket on the MSI website. Create a ticket, tell them what happened, um, you know, it failed, the temperatures are this, give them maybe some um, screenshots of it, thermal throttling or high temps or whatever, provide some proof, um, tell them you're unhappy um, and um, this is not fair, and et cetera, et cetera. And I wish you all the luck, I really do, because I feel for all these people um, with these failing AIOs, it's just a nightmare and I've been trying to help in any way I can. I've been trying to, um, you know, all the videos I've made. So um, I wish everyone the best. Please, uh, if I've helped you in any sort of way, please subscribe. Um, and th th thanks heaps. Well, those of you that stuck around get to hear the plastic feeling. Oh, how appealing. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you'd like to see some more videos on a wide range of technology subjects, um, well, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. And thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.